I had to um, write a children's book. And it was a very, very short book. But because of the influence of folk tale and my mama always telling us stories, I decided, you know what, this is something that I want to pass on for generations to come. And so I decided to write, write the midwife for that specific um, course. Yeah, I always tell people I am my number one fan because I have been writing forever. I write for almost every occasion, but I keep my information to myself. So I guess because um, I was very shy growing up and even as an adult, I am not naturally shy. Well, my students would never say this, but because <laughs> as a teacher, you know, you, you change, you, you grow. And so you cannot be shy for too long as a teacher, but my personality, I am a shy individual. And I was afraid of the media. I didn't want the exposure because it meant I had to talk in front of people. But for me now, as an adult, it's very exciting because as I said before, I always wanted to pass on tradition. I have already started writing another book, well actually two books, but one is a compilation of short stories, so it's more than one story, and the other one is a novel. And so this experience makes me even more eager to share my, um, my knowledge and information that I believe is necessary for our young people today. I especially would like for these books to be used in our schools because I believe that students need something to hold on to. We need to preserve our culture, we need to preserve our history, and we need to see more of us, more of our traditions in our education system, in the books that we read. We often open these books and it's either from some other country, some foreign country, or the Caribbean. But we want more of Belize in our Belizean education system.